And from that to this, it is time to talk charcoal and not because we're cooking out this weekend. Guys, I say charcoal and you're thinking hamburgers, hot dogs, grilling and chilling. But based on social media, a lot of you are now relating charcoal to black facial peels, shampoo and even toothpaste. Now, people claim that activated charcoal, <laughs> that's charcoal that's burned wood or coconut shells, it can naturally brighten your skin and possibly whiten your teeth. So do-it-yourself naturalists are rallying around this beauty trend, snapping photos of themselves, lathering on creams or brushing their teeth with that delicious looking black stuff to remove wine and coffee stains. But many are saying it's uh, not so great. So before you start sucking on cubes at Kingsford, let's actually learn something. <laughs> we spoke with three experts to verify, are activated charcoal products safe? So from a safety perspective, it's unlikely to cause allergy in and of itself, but some of these formulations can be harsh. And I've seen some people get very intense with using these products frequently because they want to get their skin so clean, and that's where I see people running into trouble. When you ask about the safety of charcoal, that in and of itself is probably not a problem, but the other ingredients that are getting mixed in, especially if the mask is maybe made in another country under conditions that are less stringent, that's where I start to worry. So now, how about using charcoal to whiten teeth? Well, we talked with American Dental Association dentist Eugene Gianni. He explained to us how activated charcoal has lots of holes and little pockets that can scrape off stains pretty good, but it also removes the protective tooth enamel, and that stuff doesn't grow back. People think about everything else. They think about their nails, their hair. Teeth don't grow back. And that's the problem. So when you're putting yourself at risk, putting something abrasive, think about it on one level, you're rubbing like a sandpaper on your teeth. It's not going to come back. So we can verify whammo. Our experts say that activated charcoal products are pretty safe for your skin. Just not so great for your. Look at that. Ah, not so great for your teeth. And keep in mind, many of these products that you buy on the Internet, not regulated by the American Dental Association or the FDA. One thing I can recommend to you, if you've got something you want verified, something you see online and it's questionable, let our team of researchers and me, we're going to do the work for you. Find me on Twitter or Facebook with your ideas at Adam Longo TV or send me an email to verify at WUSA9.com.